So we're on our way to a heart clinic. I finally got into a doctor that knows a lot about um, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, and he also knows about Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. If you've seen my recent pain management doctor visit vloggy thingy, I'll put it up here for y'all. Um, you'll know that he um, got me in to see this appointment sooner. I wasn't supposed to see them until January of next year, and um, now I am seeing them this year in December. So yay for a, um earlier appointment. Um, we're mainly, as we, as we said, we were already going to go see them. We were going to look into POTS and EDS. Um, but right now, mainly, this is probably going to be about my stomach and with POTS. Um, I'm going to mention Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, see what he has to say about it. I really kind of just want to see if I can rule out Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because there's a lot of things like with steroids or um, surgeries, any kind of complications that can be that can happen because of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I just kind of want to um, not have to worry about that in the back of my head. Like, what if I do have this and we just don't know it yet, and then I cause harm to myself because we don't know something. I'll update you when we get to, into the building. I'm probably not going to vlog very much there because, again, I don't want them to see my camera. But I'm super nervous, super excited, and ready to see how this office visit goes. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to get my camera out, but my phone's being stupid. Um, there, we're in the, um, what is it called? Room? We're in the waiting, no, we're not in the waiting room, we're in the room where they, like, you know what I mean. But we're in the room, and, um, they did a tilt table test on me, it went up to 150. Um, so we don't know what they're going to say. To me, it sounds like it's a, it's a positive tilt table test, because, um, pots doesn't seem like it's too complicated if you look up the um, diagnosis criteria you need like 30 beats per minute from standing up um it has to do it in like 10 minutes of standing up there's criteria to it um but it looks like it was positive but i'm not the doctor so we'll find out what they have to say <sighs> i'm very out of breath monkeys Woo! monkeys monkeys ha ah! but um we're getting through this doctor's appointment it is like taking a while but that's expected they told us to um be prepared to be here for four to five hours so we are just waiting for the actual doctor to come in now I just got done with my main appointment that I came in here for, but we're about to do a balance test. So I don't know what to expect, but um, I'll let you know how it goes. So I've been trying to film the ending of this video for a while now. I've been having problems with my camera dying, with being able to communicate effectively, um, with trying to find a moment that's noise free. And today there is somebody riding their motorcycle up and down my street. But we're going to try to make this video watchable. So bear with me. So it's been a week since I've been at the doctor's office. And I have finally have my notes, which hopefully should make this a little bit easier. I'm trying to go through all the information that we went over, and we went over literally too much. We went over so much information, I can't tell you all about it. We went over the main things, you know, like the standard things like your medicine and a brief history. But um, we went over an extensive history once like he has this other like trainee doctor come in and you talk to him and he writes down all this information that you tell him and all the 
and he asks a bunch of questions and um i kind of am like a little mad at myself because every time i go to the doctor i don't always say exactly what i want to say i say a lot of what i want to say but there's still stuff that i miss out and this time i got a lot more information out because of all the detailed questions they asked but i'm still kind of upset with myself because he asked me like do you have any other questions or things you want to let add in and i forgot about some stuff we're going to talk about my stomach first be and like my chest pain um he thinks that it has to do with malls which is medium argument ligament syndrome um my pain management doctor wanted him to do a celiac test which is different than the celiac disease um he thinks that that is contributing to the pain that we thought was referred pain but it it looks like it's costochondritis and possibly the smalls which is another thing um that kind of points more towards EDS being the main fucking thing that's causing all my issues, possibly. And I brought it into his attention, like, hey, could Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome be something? And so he did do a Biden scale, and I did get a passing um, score. I'm not, like, at a 9. I'm a little bit lower. I, um, it's somewhere on here. It's either, like, a 6 or a 7. Based off of my family history, he's afraid of me having... Um, vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and because of that fear he really is urging me to get genetic testing for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, he thinks it's probably a little bit more likely for me to have like classic like hypermobility EDS or or classical Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Again sorry. to qualify for like a hypermobility Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome diagnosis but before he gives me that diagnosis as like a firm diagnosis he want really wants me to get the genetic testing to find out if it's a different form of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because if it is um, apparently he can treat me better that way and I guess that makes sense and so we're working on getting genetic testing but it'll be after New Year's so it'll be next year. He, he says there's always a possibility that we could do the, um, that after we do the genetic testing that they're not going to find a gene associated with it. And if that's the case, then he um, assumes it's the hypermobility type, which does not have a gene associated with it yet. So we're basically doing genetic testing for um, preventative measures because with vascular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, syndrome, you have a higher risk of worse um, complications and your life expectancy is even lowered so if it's something that I have we really need to know about it okay so now to talk about pots he does think that I have pots he did a poor man's tilt table test in the room and it was my heart rate was at like 60s when I was laying down and then when he stood me up it went to 150 um, and they had me sit down pretty quickly because they were afraid that I was going to faint and I was too, honestly. So, um, he does think it's POTS, but he also thinks it could possibly be some other form of dysautonomia. Um, so he's doing a, um, tilt table test. So there's also always a possibility that the actual act of me sitting up is making my heart rate go all the way up to 150. And so a POTS, a full on tilt table test will also help rule that thought out because the table will actually be sitting me up. So there is a shit ton of um, tests that I'm going to be doing. I have, I think, over 20 days, and I'm going to try to like put them together um, as much as possible. To give you an idea of what we're doing, we're doing like an uh, arterial Doppler, um, MST test, a uh, halter loop, a uh, carotid artery, artery test, a uh, SIBO, which has to, is related to IBS, more Dopplers, which are just sonograms, sonograms of specific areas of my body looking for like possible aneurysms. They're going to test my autonomic nervous system um, in a way that the tilt table test doesn't. Um, they're going to be testing me for gastroparesis because he does think that I could possibly have that. And then we're not going to find out about any of the results to the test until Jan January 16th. So I've done a lot of these tests already and so be looking out for those videos. They'll come out soon. Um, I only post once a week though so um these videos are probably going to be going out for a while i already i can't really post sooner than what i do i have a hard time actually posting once a week as it is so i'm really sorry i'd love to post more often if i could i feel like i'm really in good hands here i really trust this man and um he seems really nice and um like the validation that he made me feel is amazing. I was expecting this appointment just to be solely related to my chest and my stomach, but it wasn't. Again, sorry about the butthole that's on my street.
Remember, you know your body better than anybody else. So please listen to it. Sorry about all the noise in this video. I love you. Have a nice day. Bye.